lot of caregivers. You've gone through this process, you know how to get real robots to work in the real world now. Um, so that's a huge accomplishment. One of the, what makes it so impressive is they really started with almost nothing, I guess in a sense. You know, a lot of you are coming in without a lot of prior robotics experience, and that's great. It's sort of a testament to, you know, you can get these systems working without having to know, you know, going through an entire PhD program to do so. You know, you've learned, you know, how to, you know, control, you've, you know, learned aspects of ROS or this specific robot system, Stretch. Um, so you've learned how to, you know, write Python code. You've learned, you know, many of you have learned computer vision techniques. Um, that work in the real world on a robotic system with limited computation. Same thing with speech recognition, computer vision, mapping and navigation, which is a hard problem to get working well, um, especially in a large environment like this. And I think one thing that I really stressed on, it seems like many of you have really taken it to heart, is the stakeholder interaction. You know, it's not just we're developing technology to go out into the ether. You know, there's a human on the other end of this, and it's important to be including these you know, people that would benefit from these types of systems into the development process. And I've seen this kind of iterative loop that you've gone through where you develop something, you bring it back to you know, some stakeholders, people in the population, say, hey, what do you think about this? You get feedback and you incorporate it back into the project. It's really, really cool. You've, you've gone from really just, here's a robot, play and enjoy, to, okay, let's actually talk about you know, what, what are the populations, who are the people that could benefit, what is the problem, what are you know, the possible solutions. Through this iterative development process, you've gone through multiple iterations to actually get to a working robotic system. You had to learn how to code this robot. None of you probably came in with experience on how to code this robot, um, so it's really, really impressive. You've accomplished a lot, so a round of applause for all of you.